Cake Masters magazine is one of the UK's leading cake decorating monthlies. It includes fabulous step-by-step -step cake tutorials, recipes, expert advice, competitions, interviews, design inspirations, and so much more. You can order your 12-month subscription to Cake Masters magazine right here for just £35 and with free UK PNP. To order your 12-month subscription, either visit createandcraft.tv or call 09056 480 480 and quote the item number on your screen. Hello there, good afternoon. Absolutely welcome along to another Cake Academy every single Sunday at five o'clock here at Create and Craft. It's the whole hour that we dedicate to cake making and cake decorating with lots of fantastic cake decorated guests. And this show today is all about FMM, which is a, virtually a completely British company uh, which supplies amazing, amazing um, products for uh, the sugar craft industry and for you, of course, at home as well. Now, uh, on Cake Academy, of course, if you want to record every single show, please bear in mind that you can have series record if you're a Sky customer. So if you've got Sky, you can just basically record uh, the Cake Academy, push the series record button, and that will mean that every single episode of this and any other related program on Create and Craft to do with cake decorating will be recorded there on your Sky box for you. Uh, and also, of course, we are the only supplier of Wilton. So if you need any Wilton supplies, you can check out the website as well. We supply everything from Wilton on the website createandcraft.tv. But as I say, this particular show is dedicated to FMM. Now, I know on this show, every single week we get lots of brand new customers who hear about the Cake Academy and want to tune in and maybe don't regularly watch Create and Craft. So let me just explain. As we go through the show, you'll see what we call an L appear on the screen throughout the show. And what that does is it actually gives you the information about the product that we're using at any one time. Now, Carol is my guest, Carol Haycock. She's going to be using lots of tools in the show to show you how you can make wonderful peonies and also daffodils and possibly, if we get time, even roses as well. So this is going to be a very popular show. Now, as the tools come along, uh, they'll appear on the screen here. At the top, you can see there's a red box. That tells tells you that it is FlexiPay, which means if you want to spread the cost between two payments, you can do. That's what we have there. So that tells you that this particular item is on two-way Flexi. Next down is the item number, which is the item number relevant to the product. So if that's the product you want to buy, make sure you actually quote 368356 uh, for this item, which happens to be your bumper bundle of peony and daffodil cutters and tools and the, foam, uh, the forming mat as well. Everything you need to make fantastic flowers. And down the bottom, it tells you the price. Now, the price, if you're not in the Create and Craft Club, is, as you can see, $44.99. But above that, there's a little purple strap just there, and that shows you the price if you are in the Crack and Craft Club. Now, if you are, the price for this is £40 and 49 pence and it's on two flexes so that means you pay 21 pounds and 25 today plus the pmp which is capped at 299 and then the next payment and the final payment in four weeks time and then down the bottom the ways to contact us there's the phone number 09056 480 480 if you'd rather do it online we have a website of course where most people order these days which is creatingcraft.tv www.creatingcraft.tv and you've also got an app as well which you can download from your app provider and that's totally free to use too you can also watch us on your tablet or on your phone through the website and through the app as well. So it's all part of the brilliant Cake Academy. So let me have a wander over and introduce you to our guest. Carol Haycox is here from FMM. Good to see you, Carol. Hiya. Welcome back. Thank you. Now, I know you've done one show before, but it happened to be one of the shows. I've, I've done most of the shows on Cake Academy, but yeah. you did one that I didn't do. So it's great to meet you. Oh, thank you. And we've had you back because it was such a popular show. Um, yeah. Everything sold so well, didn't it? In the yes. Show. Yeah. Yeah. And I enjoyed myself as well. So Good. That makes a difference. Well, hopefully you can enjoy yourself today as yeah. well. Now, tell us a little bit about F FMM because it's a, a really British company. Very and most of what is actually produced is British made as well, yes, isn't it? Yes, absolutely. Everything is made. But we have um, a place in Hemel Hempstead and everything is done. That's our centre point. And then everything is made. Our engineers make everything in England as well. So everything is British that you see. All the cutters. And they're all plastic cutters. Mm -hmm. So they're long time w good wearing yeah, when, you're w when you're cutting with them and so on. And you're their main last. demonstrator. You show yeah, everyone how to yeah. do it. I, I demonstrate um, on all the shows, and, and I'm lucky enough to travel around Europe and show uh, all around Europe. Well, if we could just have, a, have a little things. look at some of the cakes that are in front of us here, because mm. it, this is what it's all about. This is what you can achieve with the tools from FMM that we've got in the show These today. are some of the ones that we've done on the, sh the last show. They're okay. the quick rose cutters. Right. And those frills that you can see, they're made from that frill uh, rose cutter as well. So mm -hmm. they're all, it's a, you know, the same cutter is used. I like to utilise cutters 
if it's made for one thing, I like to be able to use it for something else as well. Sure. So, you know, the more experienced you get, the more you're able to um, achieve that. Now, let me show you what you can make with what's in the show today, because those are all the roses, aren't they? Yes. So yeah. the rose cutters... Today we're going to show a peony, like this peony. Have a little look. This yeah. is the peony coming up now. So this is what you can be making with the peony cutters, which yeah, are I'm in the bumper bundle. I'm going to show you how to do this today. This is amazing. And also you've got the cutters as well and the tools to make the daffodils. And yes. we've only got one cake uh, that's got the daffodil on it, but it's just here. So that's the peony you're looking at. Yeah. And then these are the daffodils, of course. And but the little you... daffodils in the pot as well. They're yeah, made of sugar as well. So. Oh, wow. How beautiful is this? Also, I've got to say uh, a very happy birthday to your daughter as well. Yes, it's my daughter's birthday today. Yes. Happy birthday, Cher. Happy birthday, Cher. And I think we're going to be putting your name on there as Hopefully, well. Hopefully, yeah. Just we get time. Just to let you know that the actual letters for Happy Birthday um, are actually from the cutting kit, the, the alphabet mm. kit, which we've got in the show as well. Yeah. You'll see all of that at the website crateandcraft.tv, OK? Uh, now, what we'll do before we start cracking on, let's just remind you of the Crate and Craft Club and also hear what people have to say about it. These little clips were filmed when we were doing our summer crafting event last year in Doncaster. Discounts, obviously, but all of it, really. There's not one particular thing, it's just the whole package. Having the emails to say that there's special offers, so we know firsthand that we're able to get some good offers. My favourite benefits of being a club member are the 10% discount and the magazine. It's just a very friendly, friendly thing to belong to, because obviously we've all got crafting in common. Join the Creator Craft Club and you will receive 10% discount on all craft product orders. A £10 credit voucher valid for three months on your account when you join. Regular craft magazines. New members will receive the next printed edition of the magazine once it has been published. Exclusive club gifts and free downloads of projects. Exclusive prize draws, competitions and special offers. So don't delay, join the craft club today. Right, now let me show you everything that's in the show today so you can make a note of all the item numbers and so on before we get into the demo. I don't want to interrupt your demo. So no. have a little look at this kit first of all. This is basically uh, the bumper kit here, which includes everything you need to make the daffodils and also everything you need to make the peonies as well. You've got six cutters, five tools included too. You've got, of course, the mats as well. And also you've got that, uh, that foam forming pad as well, which helps you get kind of curl into your petals. So that's on two flexes. If you're in the Crank Craft Club of 20 pounds, and 25 pence. If you're not in the club, it's 44.99, but you may want to join the club before you actually make your purchase. If you'd like to, it's 148319, and it's only 20 pound for a whole year to be a member. And then every time you buy something from us, you get at least 10% off of every single order. So it makes sense to join the Crate and Craft Club. Now, if you don't want to go for the bumper kit that's got both of the flowers, maybe you're just interested in the daffodils for spring, then this is something uh, that will be appealing to you. So basically, you've got part of what was in the bumper kit, but this is just for your daffodils. You've got, of course, um, two cutters. You've got the multi-flower veiner. You've got four tools and also the forming pad as well. That is just 24.29 if you'd like that one. 368358, your item number there for your daffodils. If you prefer just the Peony collection on its own, here you're getting one tool and you're getting four cutters, plus you're also getting the, uh, the, the veining mats as well, four veining mats, plus also the foam square to again get the curve to your petals. So that's 368359 if you want everything you need to make the Peony. Then we have the cutters on their own. Uh, if you only want those, then that's absolutely fine. If you've already got tools, then here are your peony and daffodil flower cutters. Six cutters in total. They're only £8.99, and they'll last you probably a lifetime. 368360. And also, if you want the tools on their own, here they are. And these are just classic cake decorators tools. Five pieces from FMM here, and that's 1349. And they're real precision tools, Karen, aren't they, those? Yeah, they are. Really good quality. Yeah. Yeah, or definitely. made in the UK, remember, as well. Now, these are the rose cutters. If you love the roses, um, we, if we don't have time to do the rose making in this show, we will have another show tomorrow morning at 9 o'clock. So if you push series record, this show and the one tomorrow will be recorded as well at the same time. But we're going to be doing the rose tomorrow if we don't get time to do it today. Yeah. But there are your three rose cutters, £11.69. And we showed you the happy birthday cake a few minutes ago. That was actually decorated using these, the letters of the alphabet and also your number tappets. Five cutters in total, so now you can personalise all of your cakes with not only names and letters, but also numbers as well, here at the Cake Academy.
OK, enough housekeeping, enough facts and figures. Let's see what uh, Carol's got up her sleeve for us. What are you going to do first of all? I'm just going to start by making the centre of um, our flower. I have a wire, it's a really heavy gauge wire, so um, a lot of people are saying, oh, I don't know what gauge, if, you know, if it's 28, what does that mean? So the higher the number, the softer the wire. Right. So we have a very hard wire here. So that's what to look for. Hard wire takes a heavy flower. Right. And that's instead of trying to remember all the numbers. I've put a hook into this. I don't know if the guys can see that. Can you see that? Yeah, there we go. Yeah. And then I've put a little tiny piece of paste onto that hook. Mm -hmm. And so that gives something for the paste to stick onto. It just onto, yeah. absolutely because what we're going to use is a polystyrene ball inside here. Inside the flower. Inside the flower. All oh, right. And you you burn this put this in a candle and then put it into this and then what we get is this. Okay. So that stays on. Now a lot of people worry because you're able to see where we've burnt the sugar into there but don't worry about it because it all gets covered over mm -hmm. so it won't matter if, it, if you can see it but that's solid onto there. I've also covered this in a little tiny piece of the flour paste that I'm going to use. Right. right? Okay. Yep. So it's all ready to go. So this, when you start this flour you kind of start do your centre and then start with your outside leaves because they're going to be wired. Mm -hmm. So what I do is I've got a little tiny board here that has ridges in it. They help if you have it. And you make roll your paste and then you can see the ridge behind. Right. Okay. So as you work and you put this, these are the bigger ones that are going to be wired. Put that onto there. Pull the paste away from the cutter, then you know it's clean into your cutter. Right. That's that one. And this is just everyday sugar paste, yeah, nothing special? No, or? no, this is flour paste. Flour paste. This is flour paste. Right. So there's, everyone says, what's the difference? So gum paste, flour paste and petal paste are all the same kind of thing. Right. Yeah, so it's a good strong paste mm -hmm. and you use your preferred brand. And we've got loads of pastes yeah. on our website if you want to check those as well. Absolutely, and then just use your preferred brand and everybody, everybody has a different brand they like. Mm -hmm. On this one, these are uh, wires again. Because I want to put them inside these petals, these are white. Okay. And these are softer, so these are uh, 28 gauge, because you'll see what I'm going to do with this. I'm going to pick this up, put it on my finger here, put this into some glue. Now, my glue is just made by using a hardening agent like a Tylo powder or CMC powder. Mm -hmm. Push in. My wire is up to there now. That goes on there. And I will do... On the very large one, which is this one, I will make seven of these, but you can make nine of these or 11 of these. It depends on how big you want your flower, okay? And also remember, any of the things that um, Carol's using during the show, even if they're not on the screen, the chances are they're going to be in stock on our website. And the Cake Academy actually has a dedicated section on our website, creatingcraft.tv. So things like wire, things like um, edible glue, dusting powders, all that yeah. sort of thing you'll find on the website. Now I'm just veining. Look. Oh, wow, look how that really makes it come yeah. to life. Yeah. So, again, I just put that onto there. Make sure it's centered there. Press down. That's on your former pad to make sure your vein works. Turn them over. Use your tools. These are then, there's big side and small side. Yeah. Really is your preference, whichever side you use. And I'm softening the edge. Right, and then just frill this in that front gives you of the it. Curl. Absolutely. Now, with these flowers, you want them on this right centre ball, mm -hmm. so therefore this is too straight. So when I take this, I'm going to use my fingers here and I'm going to use my thumb and watch. I'm just going to push and it curves it. Right. That's why you're using a soft wire in here. Okay. You couldn't do that with this hard wire. No. So soft wire... So the hard wire you're... supports the weight of the flower. Absolutely, the yeah. The soft wire is for moulding. Yeah. yeah. And if you look, look what I'm doing with my fingers as well, and I just push them, and then I'll use a tiny piece of sponge to put them on and I'll then form them and leave them aside to dry off. Could you use like, like an egg so. box if you haven't got any sponge? You can use an egg box, whatever works for you. Could I just yeah. show everybody what you were just looking at here? Because this is... This I had is a what... small piece I thought I was going to... Look at that. But yeah. So it's that it's shape just, foam. Yeah, I mean that can stay on there if, if um, you want. And they, okay. that's great for if you just pop them on there. And they'll stay there for you, and then you're not worried about them, and they are transported as well. But equally, an uh, egg box is shaped like that would do the same job. Anything so. like that. Yeah. If you haven't got, just get some foil. Make little things, and, the fo and, the, you know, and then you can do you know, 11 or 8, whatever many yep. you want to do. So what I've actually done on here, 
I've made these uh, um, earlier, but I put them in a plastic bag yesterday because I need them to be still a little piece on the soft side. I mm -hmm. don't want them to go too hard. And flour paste goes really hard. Right. So I just transported them in a plastic bag so that they're a little bit on, the, on that side. I've done the very large one. I've done seven of them. Mm -hmm. Then I've done six of those, and they're wired. Now I have the other two, but I don't need to wire this. Because so there's, no, there's not the weight at all. No. So what happens now, they're going to be put around the bowl. They're going to be used around this bowl. Okay. Yeah? Mm -hmm. So I'll just roll this. And this is not something you can prepare. You have to do this, like now, and... You can't do it in advance? Not really, because you'll see what I'm going to do now. This is just a little bit of cornflour. It's just make sure that everything moves for me. So if I have five of these... And what I'll do is I'll just show the veining on a couple, mm -hmm. but you'll know if, if I've done them on a couple, then you have to do them on all of them. I think they should work harder than me, don't you? <laughs> I agree, yeah. <laughs> now, there's a right side and a wrong side. So look, pop that there, like so. There's so. a slightly rounded side to one side, yeah? Yeah. You can see, you can see where the cut is, where, where I've done. Everything, everything. If you move your cutter like this, you'll get a good clean edge to your paste. Mm -hmm. But if you leave it and it's stuck to your board, your paste scrunches inside your cutter. So if you can, if you're able to, you can get what we got there for. You can do five of these and seven of these if you wish. Mm -hmm. So the more, the bigger you want something, the more petals you can do. That is entirely up to you. How long There's you no rules. How long have you been doing this for? Um, since about 10 minutes ago, I think. No, I mean, yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean. How many years? See, I don't like to tell anyone because I'm really only 32 years of age. <laughs> but my, um, I, my first cake was for my daughter's second birthday. And I know she's going to love me for telling everyone she's 37 today. Right, wow. Yeah. Okay. So I think that's five Happy or birthday, six then. years, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. It's so, a few, a few yeah. years. So look, I'm just there. If you were veining these, look, right? Just that's all you do. Just push onto there and vein. Mm -hmm. Now, a lot of the times, our vein is taken out when we, when we do what we're about to do. And I do get asked, well, what's the point? What's the point in putting the vein in? Well, it really does, at the end, make that little bit of difference. So make the effort and put the vein in if you can. Well, the actual um, veining mats do the work for you, really. There's yeah. not really much effort yeah, involved at do. all. But it yeah. does make a big difference. It, it just the end result, when you're, especially when you put the dust on your flowers, and you'll see it then, you'll pick up where you've veined, mm -hmm. yeah? So now you can see what I've done. Oh, one last chappy. And soften everything, soften everything. Now I'm turning to the big side and I'm curving that. Can you see now mm -hmm. I'm kind of making it more rounded so as that it will sit around the ball for us. Now I hope you're recording the show, especially if you're going for any of the toolkits that are in the show today, because it's fantastic to have Carol with you. And of course you can always look back at any of the Cake Academies after they've been on air. So uh, give it a few hours, then you can look back at a show if you've missed one or whatever. And when your, when your actual toolkits arrive and your, your, uh, your cutters arrive, uh, watch the show back again and maybe do it in real time with Carol. Do it at the same time. Now I'm putting this on the top here. Can you see what I've done? I've put this first one, overlapped, overlapped. Yep. And now number four is just going in here, but I'm really bringing them so that they're fitting in together here. This is the last one. It's going to go underneath number one and over number four. And how are you sticking them together? So now I've just got in my pen, I've just got um, alcohol. Right. Yeah, but you can use, I don't really use glue because it really gets sticky on your fingers. Mm -hmm. The alcohol is, is fine for this. So clear just fine. or something like that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, and a little piece more. And don't worry about the alcohol, that does evaporate. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. You can always drink what you don't use. <laughs> and if you watched it now, can you see where I'm bringing the next one in? Same thing I'm doing, mm -hmm. but now I would have seven normally, seven petals, right. nine petals. It doesn't matter how many, but you need to see what I'm doing, I'm just rolling it so as it's going around and it's fitting where I want it to fit. Anything you need, little tiny touch of moisture to it, and all the sugar sticks. Now open number one, tuck it in, pop in, and close. Now just look at that. Can you see that it's starting to take shape? Yeah. Very, very 
ease, well, I say easily. I mean, it's a technique, but it's a technique that you can learn. But it doesn't take long before it starts to resemble you know, what think, it used to be. You know, I think, you know, people ask me, oh, you do it so quickly. But, of course I do. I work with sugar every day. And so, you know, the more they work, the quicker you become. Mm -hmm. and, and just be confident. Just think, well, it's just a bit of sugar. So if it gets broken, just eat it and start again. <laughs> and then you'll be okay. So I should have um, a piece of tape on my um, table here. Now, this is florist tape. And I think, again, um, you said it earlier, we have in, in our... You have florist tape. No, absolutely. This is, when you pull this, this is sticky like this. So I've just remembered I never put my all, done all my dusting so that's going to go aside. Mm -hmm. That's going to come over here. Now I've got a peony colour on here. Now these dusts you'll find on the website as well. There's loads of them. There's metallic ones and all sorts of different colours. So you'll find the pink I'm sure very easily. Oh yeah, nice. And mix your colours as well to yep. make whatever it is you want. And when you've made what you've done, bring your petals. Now when you're going to dust these, dust from the bottom of them into the middle. So you're dusting like so. So this is dry dust, not, not liquid? Dry dust. Right. And it'll just give you a nice wow. colour. Beautiful. Turn it over, don't forget the backs. And we need these now to put it all together, so we're going to just... Well everyone's wondering, has mum done daughter's share a birthday cake? Is this it here? That's actually her birthday is it? cake. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So you're not getting it today, but you'll hopefully get it, what, tomorrow? Uh, uh, tomorrow? Tomorrow. Yeah, I'll see her tomorrow. I won't have a piece. Don't worry, Cheryl. Have a piece. <laughs> well, that's tempting. Don't, I'm not going to tell you what's inside because you might just have a slice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, go on, tell me. It's chocolate cake. Oh, it's right. our favourite. Oh, OK. Yeah. I think everyone's and she was actually in, now, yeah. in my house the other day while I was making it, but I didn't tell her it was for her, so ah, surprise! OK. <laughs> it's been on telly too, so you can't eat it. Yeah. <laughs> So I always think that, my, you know, family will get fed up with your, with your cakes, but they don't. No. They don't. They just, you know. Now, a little, little tiny piece in here, so don't forget to just go in here. It'll just bring that colour. Yeah? Mm -hmm. We'll do the top in a few minutes. Okay. Now what I'm doing, doing, everything gets laid out, because if you don't lay it out, it can, especially if you're a bit anxious about something, it can all get a little bit, oh! So how many petals in total then for a peony? Because it's quite a big flower, isn't it? it? It is a big flower. So I think I've got about 15 petals on this one. Okay. Maybe more. But you can add more or seven, choose to do less if you want 12. to. Yeah, yeah. You know, it depends on what you're doing, mm. really. And it depends on the size of your cake. So if you have um, a six-inch top, then you might need to make it a bit bigger. On this little one, there's only a four-inch top, right, so, so I've just use, done a smaller. Yeah, you, um, you use less head, yeah, petals. Yeah, so but if you can see what I'm doing here, this is the back, and you know this is the back because you have that ridge down there. So I just put my thumb on here and push that back, so it's that I have this angle. And then that, you'll see how that helps to bring it all together mm -hmm. when I when I then start. Now. If, you, if you're going to do this at home, don't be in a hurry like I'm just going to be. Just take your time. Now how long would you leave the petals on the foam for until they're, um, they're um, About two hours. Okay. Yeah. So, and then they... And that's before you actually dust them and before you yeah. start to... Yeah. Yeah. I, I leave them for about half an hour. So, yeah. If you're inexperienced, about two, two hours. hours. But if you're experienced, half an hour. Yeah. yeah. Now, what I'm, what I'm going to do, because again, when you go too near here and you start to put your tape on, it all gets a bit, this is in the way, and you... So start down far. It doesn't matter that these are going to be down here, because mm -hmm. you'll see what I'm going to do in a few minutes. So each one, put it on tape. Each one you do. And this is florist tape, you said? Yeah. And it's sticky. It's not sticky on the roll. It's sticky when you pull at it. Ah, right. Yeah? And so, if you can see, my, my fingers are really making it so, you know, sticky like this. So, do you, you usually use this tape for flower arranging, would you? Or? There's different fla uh, tapes for flower arranging. Um, most of um, the sugar people use this one. Right. And uh, people who do um, silk flowers will use, although they will use a florist tape, it will be slightly different texture than right. what this okay. is. Now, this is the smaller one, so that's going in, like, in there and under there. So again, I'm bringing them where 
So tuck under the other one. Or let it fall. <laughs> <laughs> like so. So that kind of bridges the gap. Yeah. Now, pull this and they all sit together. Oh, beautiful. And open that up you can, so you can see what's happening as you open. Now, the, if these are, they're a bit dry today, obviously, but if they're not so dry, you can just look, fix them and pull them mm. up and push them up where you want them. It is quite amazing. It takes shape relatively quickly. It's yes. It's gorgeous. And then you start doing number two. So you can make it as big and as flamboyant as you want, or you yeah. can make it as small as you like. For a small cake like I've got here on my left, um, probably we use quite a few um, or fewer petals for that one. But the one further down in front of me with the kind of gold around the edges, that's a much bigger flower as you can probably see. That one just down there and the one next to it too. Beautiful, the pink one and the gold one. Look at that, isn't it lovely? That's what we're making at the moment. That's the peony. And there's the gold one as well. Stunning, isn't it? And you've got, remember, in the bumper bundle, everything you need to make these, apart from, of course, uh, your material, but everything else, all the tools are included. Yeah. Now, if we'd had more time today, I'd have done a second layer on here. Right. To, stuck to the actual inner piece. And then that would have just brought it up here further, just like you can see on this one, mm -hmm. really. But you, when, when I was saying about letting these dry or not, it is better if they're not so, because you can hear these, yeah, how crisp. dry they are, mm. because that's because they're flower paste. And so don't let them dry for so long. They sit together better for you. And have yeah? they got a shelf life or will they kind of last forever? Oh, forever. Really? Yeah, forever, yeah. So when you've eaten yeah. the cake, you've actually got the peony or the daffodil or whatever you've made yeah. that you can keep as a memento of yeah. that day. You can just put it in your cabinet, yeah, and then it'll be done. Isn't that beautiful? Now remember, what you've got here is, if you go for the bumper bundle, you've got everything that you need to make the peonies, but also the daffodils as well. Can I just show you everything that you've got? You've got the firm foam mat, which was used obviously for the veining, but also then to get the kind of curl to the petal. You're getting that. You're getting your daffodil cutters. You're getting your multi-flower veiner. You're getting your peony cutters as well. You're getting your veinings mat, veining mats even. Plus then you've also got your flute and vein tool, your ridged cone and mini ball tool as well. They're all double-ended. You've got your bone tool, which Carol was using quite a bit. Um, the knife and scriber tool as well. And then finally, your last one is your ball tool, different sizes there on that one. So all of those tools and everything come together for that £40.49 pence price tag. That's if you're in the Create and Craft Club. If you're not, then it's forty-four ninety-nine. But it's well worth joining the Create and Craft Club right now if you'd like to. It's 148319. That's uh, £20 for a whole year. Uh, you get a £10 credit, which you can put towards this if you want to. And then instantly, of course, you're going to be saving your £4.50 off that price, taking it down to £40.49. pence, And it's on two flexes as well of only... 20 pounds and 25 pence so that's the bumper bundle if you would like to go for the individual flowers that's absolutely fine we've got that option for you again with your tools but also of course with your your cutters and also the veining disc as well 24 pound 29 is the price if you're in the crate and craft club from FMM. 368358 is your item number if you want to go for that. And you get four tools of course as well as the cutters there 24 pounds and 29 pence for your daffodils and then if you uh, are taken by the peony, the, de the demonstration by Carol was absolutely gorgeous. Wonderful, wonderful flower. You can make those with this. And this, again, gives you the foam pad, of course, to work on. Uh, you've got four cutters. You've also, of course, got your veining masks as well. And also you've got the single tool there, which is all you need to make your peony. So that kit is just £20.69. 368359. But do remember, if you go for the bumper kit, that's got two flexi pays, which means you can spread it over two pounds. Now, if you just want the cutters on their own in the Cake Academy this week, uh, this is the peony and daffodil flower cutters. No tools included, but I, I know an awful lot of you probably have got your tools already sorted, and maybe you've had them for months uh, or maybe even years, and you just want the cutters, then that's 368360. It's eight pounds and 99 pence. Then we have the tools, of course, and you get all five of these, and that's a five-piece toolkit, double-ended, of course, 13 pounds and 49 pence is the price, 368357. And then we have our rose cutters. Now, the three cutters, uh, you've got small, medium, and large, and uh, that's 364545. We'll either hopefully get to do a demo with these in the show today. If not, there is another show with Carol and myself tomorrow morning at 9 a.m., where they will definitely 
be, uh, well, they will definitely be used, OK? So that's 364545, your item number on that one. And the alphabet, we showed you the, the cake earlier with happy birthday. Um, we'll, if we get a chance, personalise it for Cher before the end of the show, because it's her birthday today. Um, those letters came from this. And you've got every letter of the alphabet, uppercase and lowercase, and numbers as well. So you can, of course, cut your sugar paste out with those. Uh, £8.99, the price, 364546 is your item number. <laughs> Now, last week on the Cake Academy, you may have uh, joined us. Mark Tilling was our guest last week. You may have seen him on TV during the week as well, on terrestrial TV. Uh, Mark was from Squire, Squire's Kitchen, and we were talking about chocolate last week. And then we did actually have a bit of a, a competition going on. Uh, if you spent more than £30 in the show last week, you automatically went into a prize draw to win yourself a Squire's Kitchen hamper. And I'm pleased to tell you that the winner is on the phone right now, Rosemary. Hi. Hello, Rosemary. Good afternoon. Welcome to Crate and Craft. Thank you very much. Now, what did you buy last week, then? Uh, I bought the um, chocolate kit and the three paces. Fantastic. Brilliant. Now, it's hopefully arrived by now, has it? Oh, no. Um, no, it's on its way. It's on its way. Jolly good. OK. Now, uh, are you new to chocolate crafting or not? Uh, yes. So, it's something you, you saw Mark, you saw his demonstrations, and you were inspired by it? Yes, I was. Brilliant. What's the first thing you're going to be making with it? Do you know yet or not? Well, um, I've got a friend whose birthday it is, uh, 75th birthday, uh, in the complex where we live, and um, I will be making, trying to recreate the chocolate cake that he had on the show or something very similar. Right. Brilliant. Well, good luck with that. Uh, I can tell you, you've won. You've won the Squire's Kitchen hamper, worth £150. Oh, thank you. I'm so excited. All of that is coming your way, and you could be the next Mark Tilling. You never know. <laughs> I doubt it very much. <laughs> well, congratulations from all of us to you, and keep watching the Cake Academy, won't you? Thank you very much, and thank you for all your products. They are absolutely wonderful. You're a love. Thank you, Rosemary. All the best. Thank you. Congratulations. Bye, bye Bye. So that's our winner from the competition with Squire's Kitchen last week, so congratulations to a very chuffed Rosemary. Brilliant. OK, now, back with Carol. Uh, we've talked about the fantastic peony, and we're now moving on to my, one of my favourite flowers, because this, to me, is always summer's on the way when I see a daffodil. Look yeah. at these beautiful daffs. They are stunning. They really are. And if you go for the main kit, which is on the screen right now, you're going to get everything you need, the tools and, of course, the cutters to make your daffodils. But they are so realistic, aren't they? Yeah, they are. Yeah. I, I have two lots here. I'm going to show you how I just do this one. And... These are not edible. Right. These are edible. Okay. So if you use the All different material... All made with the sta same material. These have wires in them. These don't. Oh, okay. And that's the difference why it's edible and non-edible. Okay. Yeah. So that cake can be cut in half or whatever Absolutely. into quarters. And, eat. and everything can be eaten. Yeah. Brilliant. Yeah. I've even made the little stamens that are inside. Brilliant. Yeah. <laughs> but we're not cutting it. We're not cutting today. it. No, no, we're not. We're so not. Carol. Just thought I'd tell you that. I promise you I won't cut it. <laughs> Right, okay. so, yeah, let's, let's crack on. So, this is, again, we're starting with a wire, and I've, this is for the, uh, the benefit of its 26-gauge wire, okay? Mm -hmm. So it's not, not too soft, not too hard. Little piece of tape. Start the tape on. I have some stamens here. Now, these are tiny little things, aren't they? They are. Are they wires as well? Or? No, no, they're, they're stamens. Oh, they're, they're actually pre-made? Yeah, right. and they're what you... This is cotton. Yeah. And you buy those pre-made? And pre -made. you buy them pre-made. Right, got you. You can make them, mm -hmm. but I haven't got time for making these. <laughs> <laughs> so the first thing I'm going to do before I start taping, I'm going to put the little um, pistol inside. So I have a little tiny piece of flour paste. I'm just going to even make it smaller. And onto the hooked wire. You can see I hooked the wire. I just hook it with my fingers if you can. Mm -hmm. but you can use a tweezers. Little tiny, tiny piece. Now, don't when you're dipping into the glue, only just barely dip, because if you dip too much, it then becomes really sticky and hard to use. So, I'm just going to make three little marks in here. Now, I'm positive that you're the only one that's going to be able to see this, but you can see you how it makes the centre. Our cameramen and ladies your, are very, very good. Here we go. Look, your, that's a close-up for you. Yeah. You can see that. Yeah. So, and it's just made with the, with the thinner end of your, your veining tool. I mean, all these tools Again, in the kit, all five tools are essential, aren't they, really, yeah. for any cake uh, decorator? Well, they are. I just think it makes life easy. And I think when people see someone like me and it's, you know, oh, you know, you have and you have, 
You know, we can all find something to substitute, but when we, the better we get, the more we want the correct equipment. Mm -hmm. And that's when it comes to, yeah, buy the correct equipment and make sure that it's good equipment. Because if you buy um, cheaper stuff, you'll buy it twice or three yeah. times. I mean, you said to me, one of your veining mats, you've had for 20 years. Absolutely, yeah. The one that's I, here I today just, that you're using. Uh, yeah. So and if you're investing in these, you know that they're going to last you decades, all of these tools here. So now I've got the centre of my daffodil made. Right. Right, that's yeah. for the wired ones. And again, you're so using that tape, that florist tape. Always, yeah. Now I'm always, come down the tape, come down the, right down and... See, I really tug at it, and then that makes it sticky, and that way it won't keep coming off there okay. when I pull it through the flare. And only the sticky gets activated when you pull, yeah? Yeah, right. Yeah, that's what happens. So now we're going to make the backs of the flare to start. And my plastic bags are driving me mad because they won't open. <laughs> <laughs> so now when I'm doing this, I like to have, um, it's known as a Mexican hat, okay? Right. And when we started to do sugar we didn't have um, sugar paste when I started. It was all royal icing. But we were told to make Mexican hats and you had to make everything by hand. Mm -hmm. So now we just make it much easier. And you have your forming pad here. This is to form things with. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. And it's incredibly dense. It's a lot thicker than, say, yeah. a mouse mat or something like that. It's not like that. Oh, it's yeah. All very thick. But it has the feel of a mouse yeah, mat on the back. But it's, as you say, it's nice and thick. So you want a piece of paste, a, a ball of paste. Mm -hmm. So now I'm just going to press it onto that, and when you turn it over, you have a uh, Mexican hat. I wonder what the hole was for in there. Yeah. Now, now it all becomes clear. So now I'm going to turn this, look, to make it as nice, and because what we want to do is when we're going to do our cutter, we want to make sure the cutter's going to fit over there, yep. right? Mm -hmm. Now, again, there's all these different things on the market where you can, oh, you must buy another rolling pin to do this with because that one would be too big. Use the tools that you've got. Good idea. You've actually bought them, so make them work for you as much as you possibly can. Don't worry about the little ridges on there. They will all disappear. Over that goes. Make sure it's central and into the middle. So you've got the first one there. Yeah. Now, I don't want this so big, so we can pinch. I'm very stingy. I'd like to take <laughs> it back. Right. Now, the second one. Another thing with the, something like this is don't roll your paste too thin. If you roll it too thin, you have nothing to work with because you're going to see how I'm going to be working with this now. So but would if, it be about a mil, one, one millimetre thick, something like that? Well, Probably a bit less than yeah, that. Yeah, a bit less than that, yeah. isn't it? But you, I think when you're working with something, if it's not doing what you want it to do, just alter it slightly. Just roll it a little thicker mm -hmm. or a little thinner. And then start working with it again, and it will work. Now, then. do you use pre-coloured sugar paste, or do you? I, I colour all mine. You do I colour all mine myself. Yeah. With the dusts. Yeah. 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 So well, not not with dust, with um, with um, gel. gel, this kind of thing. Yeah. Yeah. I think you, you um, do this one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Onto your mat. Now there's veiners to go with this. They're here. And I like to do my little daffodil onto here, onto here, just press that. Oh, look at that. Look. Brilliant. You can see that. We're getting inquiries about what sort of board you're using. Is it a special board? It's just a rolling board. It's a, rolling a board. nylon rolling board. Right. Okay. Yeah. And so. Now, if you we can haven't got one on the website, I'm sure we probably have, but if we haven't, they're readily available. So. Absolutely. You can use um, your kitchen surface. If you're using your kitchen, you can use this surface. If you're using it, if um, my advice would be to put a little white fat. This is vegetable fat. Yep. Because this is a non-stick rolling board, I don't need to roll put white fat on it so much. But if I have a surface like this and it's sticking, just put a little really a little tiny piece of fat, mm -hmm. not much what at about, all. What so about if you've got granite or something like yeah, that? Yeah, use it the whole lot. Yeah. yeah, the whole lot. Right. So I've got two here. Turning that one upside down. Now we just need to shape these. So I'm going to just elongate a little. And then do a little, see how I'm softening the edges of it? Yeah. Right? So, and again, and soften, and soften. And that's the large ball on the ball tool that you get with yeah. the main kit today. You can use your large ball, you can use your bone tool, so whatever works for you. Mm -hmm. 
Now I'm going back to the veining tool, Dresden tool. Right, when you're doing this, go beyond your paste and pull in and see what it does. Oh, wow. And it just pulls it back. And the same here. And you'll notice also, I don't hold on to my paste because if you let it go free, it will be more natural for you. Mm -hmm. Use your ball again and just push in. I'm going to use my moisture here. Pick this up. So that again is the clear alcohol? Yeah. yeah. And pop in. Use your ball and pop that in. And you can see Brilliant. the beginning of that. Okay, so you're opening that up, right? And you're opening up for a reason now. Leave you know this what? on the side. Another good thing is that if you do have a go, and maybe it goes wrong the first or second time you do it, you know what, you've not wasted anything. You can quite simply just kind of roll it out again yeah. and try again. So you're not yeah. wasting lots of expensive um, ingredients or anything. No. No. Darker colour. Yeah. For the trumpet. Yeah. And you've got a little trumpet. Now, this is one of the hardest oh, things that there. people say. Well, how do you use that? Okay, again, don't roll too thin. Roll it a little on the thicker side. Move and cut onto the pad. I think this is quite a magical part to do. So now I've veined it, mm -hmm. veined quite heavily. Go back to this one. I'm going to take the thinner side, the smaller side and I'm going to start pulling at it. But I'm gouging into the pad as I do it. And you can see what's happening to mm. Gives like a, a corrugated edge uh, to yeah, it or a wavy yeah. edge. Now, turn that back over. Use your, um, your uh, tool that has a point on it. Now, if you don't have this, you can use the end of a paintbrush. It's not something that is necessary, so it's just the way what I do with it. Put a little white fat onto this mm -hmm. because that, hold your paste onto there. Turn that over and you can see where I've just got one side. I'm just going to put a little moisture just here and I'm going to join them up. Now as you join and back onto the pad and that holds it all There's together. There's your trumpet. Right? Mm -hmm. Now a little on here. Don't overdo your do you normally do your flowers one at a time, or do you have like a production line of ten at a go or whatever? It, yeah, it depends on what I'm doing. Yeah, so I will get all the centres ready. Yeah. But then when you're doing these, this needs to stay soft. Right. So if you were doing these, I would make this from here. Sure. So the whole thing would be made. Because at this stage, the next part that you do is you've got to bring this into the middle here. Mm -hmm. When you do that, you want to twist it in. Twist and it comes out the other end. If you so twist, if you didn't twist it, it, would it drag it? It come, If you don't twist it, what it does is come out the side for some oh, reason. Right, right. Right? And so you've now got where you can see a flower on here. Can I just take it from yeah. you? Let's just have a look. Look at this. Isn't that just amazingly realistic? Wow. And you can achieve it. You can do the same with the kit that's on the uh, on the screen now. The peony and the daffodil kit, remember. That's all of it. But if you just want certain components, if you've already got the tools, you don't need them, you just want the, the cutters, all of that will be on the website as well, individually available at createandcraft.tv. So I'm really taken with that. It's amazing. Now, on the back of um, um, a daffodil, yeah, you can just put it down yeah. there. On the back of a daffodil, you've got your little bracket and you can see where the little piece comes up the back. Oh yeah. Yep. So I d I've dusted them green first and use your use this and you can cut a little piece out. Cut that across here. So we'll I'm pop that there. I'm just thinking cake aside, I mean these are edible because there's wires in them obviously but you know yeah. daffodils never last as long as you want them to. These will last all year long. Yeah. They'll just keep going and keep going, so you can always have a display of daffs, or be they artificial, maybe in the kitchen or something like that. It's fantastic. You just have to make sure they don't get wet. Right. Yeah, because they're sugar. Right, so they dissolve, basically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You've got this. Turn it over. Or you bring this just right down. Now, this is fairly thin. I'm going to turn it back over here, put a very tiny piece of moisture down the bottom. 
and that goes under here. to put on the back like so. Use your tools. It's very tempting to put your fingers in and <laughs> yeah, so on. Imagine. But you just, if you use your tools, it helps you to do everything much easier. And, and there is breaks your daffodil. Them. And there's your daffodil. Smashing, isn't it? Absolutely yeah, so brilliant. that's your wired daffodil. Well, thank you for all your emails. We're going to read those out in a second for you as well. Uh, if you go to the website there, remember, cretoncraft.tv, there's a Cake Academy section there, a whole dedicated section uh, that tells you more about the series. You can also, of course, watch back any of the Cake Academy shows you want to. We were talking about Mark Tilling with chocolate last week. That's on the website now to view at your convenience on your tablet or on your PC. This one will be available to view as well uh, shortly after the show's over. So, uh, yeah, all the Cake Academy videos are there, but all the products, that's the most important thing, to get these results like with Carol today for your peony and your daffodil they're all on the website crankcraft.tv but the big bundle is proving very popular it's only £20.25 if you're in the Crank and Craft Club and you want flexi pay if you don't and you're not uh, it is £44.99 plus that capped PMP of £2.99 postage and remember anything in the show that you want to add to your order the PMP at the moment is capped at £2.99 so you can have five things in your basket you won't pay any more than £2.99 postage to get it delivered to your door uh, but that ends tonight so whatever you do if you're watching a repeat of the show or the, on catch up or something like that um, it's only until midnight on the 24th so Sunday night midnight is cut off for the capped PMP but look at all these wonderful roses we hopefully have got enough time to maybe do a rose Carol is that all right yeah yeah okay. no problem so these roses we'll show you how to do those in a second we've done the peony we've done the daffodil but if you do want to have the roses cutters We've got those for you. So here are the templates that you need to make the roses and we'll hopefully show you in a minute or two just exactly how easy they are to use and how you can make as many roses as you like. That's 364545. Three cutters in total, different sizes, £11.69. And when you look at the cutters, you kind of think, well, how does a rose come from that? But um, Carol's going to reveal all. Uh, while you're looking for what you need, Carol, I'll just do a, a couple of emails. Julie in South Wales. Hello, Julie. She says, hi, Dave and Carol. I'm loving the show, watching Carol making the flowers. It's amazing, isn't it? Uh, I just wanted to show you the first roses that I made using the roses cutters that we're about to talk about. Oh, wow. That's the first ones you've made. Yay. I encourage everyone to watch tomorrow's show, too, and get the cutters as they were so easy to make. I've tried making roses before and struggled, but these were so easy to do. Love FMM, I love FMM products as they're such good quality. That's Julie. Thank you ever so much, Julie, for your email, and thank you for your picture as well. It's always lovely to see what you do, and it inspires everyone else. You know, you're Absolutely. a professional demonstrator, um, and you, people at home may be thinking, well, can I do that? Yeah, everyone can, Yeah. when you've got the right yeah, cutters. Yeah, definitely, definitely, especially this one. This is just one of the easiest things we've brought out ever. Okay. And I've been using FMM stuff for about 25 years. Uh, it's pretty so, obvious, judging by the response we've had to your shows. A yeah. lot of people remain loyal to your brand. Yes. Yeah, because they're good. Because yeah. they can use them year after year. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And they, like especially our lettering and stuff like that, it, it just is so good. And especially when they come and watch me at the shows and so on. And we can talk to each other. I like that. Mm. It's nice to be it's able great, to It's great, isn't chat. it? One-on-one. -on -one. Yeah. Got a piece of paste here, same mm -hmm. kind of thing, just um, it's got a gum in it, so it's a bit elasticy. So the paste I use is what I roll out to put on my cake, mm -hmm. and then I put a hardening agent to like it. Like Tylo. Yeah. Yeah. So then that way it gives it it's a bit elasticy, it makes it a, a bit elastic, and you can put it on your bedpost at night and then put, use it the next day. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to do this just the medium one because that's the size I've rolled out, right. and I'm just going to do two layers. So look. As easy as that. Again, can't stress enough. Make sure everything moves on your board when you're cutting, mm -hmm. and then it'll cut clean. A bit of corn flour on there will make sure that happens. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And I keep corn flour in a bag because it keeps control of it. Well, we've got it's not those all over the place. We've got those you know? corn flour bags on the website. I know that for a fact. So yeah. you'll find those there. Right. Use. You can use your bone, whichever tool, whatever works for you. Right. Mm -hmm. So I just soften the edge. Look. It doesn't matter which direction you do it in? No, no. Whatever is comfortable for you. What I say to people is I use my pad and I work over my paste. That way, each one has the same weight distributed to each one. Mm -hmm. So I'm not moving here or here to do any of the rest of them. I don't hold on to them because as you do your 
around here, you can get ears. Mm -hmm. So your paste will be misshaped. Mm -hmm. So if you want that shape, just don't hold on to it, just run it around okay. and then it's like so. But again, a little bit of moisture, just down the middle. Now I think the last time I was on here, the presenter made a rose, so I don't see why you shouldn't. Why not? I'm up for it. <laughs> so this first one, you're going to roll this and you're going to roll it so that you get the inside of that rose. So like this. Okay, so, so start make off that right. little tiny piece, yeah? I didn't know I was going to be doing this. Ha ha ha. I like catching people out. Is that right? Yep. Yeah. And once you've got that first piece done, stand it up. And you're going to stand it up on the pad here. Ah. And I'll start you off and then you can get, look, and then oh, just roll okay. it, right? Got you. Now the reason you stand it up on the pad is that just enables all of the petals to stay the same height for yep. you. So. Oh, isn't this clever? What a clever concept. And you can use, these are 10 petals. Right. You can cut this in half and do 15 petals, five petals, Look 20 that. petals, whatever you want. I'm no cake whatever. decorator, but I think you'll agree that's on the road to being a pretty lovely rose. What do you reckon, teach? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm just thinking to myself, you're not going to try and take my job now, are you? <laughs> so no fear of that. I'm bringing that down just a tiny, tiny piece. Yeah. And what we're going to do, I'm just going to add that's okay, I'm just going to I can see what off. Julie was saying now when she said about the rose cutters. Uh, and you can see how Julie was able to get the results she got on that picture a minute ago with this. So that's your, that's your centre. Yeah. Same thing, look, you just pick it up and then you just keep rolling. And the more you roll, the bigger your rose becomes. Oh, wow. I like to take a nice, I, didn't, I don't know if I've brought a little brush, but if, if I haven't, I'll use one of these. That's dry. Look at that, isn't that lovely? Was it FMM that came up with the idea for that shape of cutters? Is he, um, um, uh, yeah, they're FMM cutters, yeah. yeah. Look, open up, open up like so. Oh, I love it. And you can then twist and do little tiny twists on your... But a lot of people don't like it so flat on the bottom. Mm -hmm. Just take your knife or your knife and scribe, push in. And as you push in, it's... it's can you see the rose opening up yes, the top I as can. well? Yeah, yeah. And then you can pinch this and round them off. So if you want to put like a calyx on the bottom, there you can do it. Wow. That gets caught. This is the most popular thing we have made. Well, I can understand why. Just look at that. I didn't know I was going to be doing that. Carol gave me no <laughs> prior warning. But basically what you've got... Yeah, basically what you've got there are three rose cutters in different sizes, and they make obviously three different sizes of rose. And if you look over there at that wonderful, it's almost like a waterfall of roses you've got on that cake. That is just a crowd stopper, isn't it? Anyone that walked into a room and saw that cake at the end of the, at the, end of the room, maybe for a wedding or something, would be delighted with this. Absolutely, it's the, it's, the, it's the focal point of the room, isn't it? And now you can see how to do it. When you've got those cutters, three different cutters in three different sizes, all those roses, it doesn't take long either. No, it doesn't. No, definitely doesn't. And like I say to my cake decorators, just because it only took you a quarter of the time to do it, don't charge any less. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, I was just, do you know what? Funny you should say that. I was looking at that cake thinking, that one over there, the pink one in particular, or that one as well there. Yeah. What would someone charge for a cake like that? Hundreds and hundreds of pounds. Oh, oh, absolutely. Absolutely. You can start off with around 500 yeah, start I'm surprised. with and then it depends on what they want inside and so on and really the only thing that's decorating that cake obviously are the roses the rest of it is the cake itself but it's just got that lovely waterfall of, i just love that i really yeah. really do if you want your three cutters then the rose cutters we will do more demonstrations tomorrow morning at 9 a.m so if you are watching us on sky remember you can series link all of the shows every single cake academy show from now onwards will be recorded on your sky box uh, and that will include tomorrow morning's nine o'clock show as well because anything related to cake decorating or cake academy will automatically be recorded as well if you haven't got Sky, just remember to record each and every week at five o'clock on a Sunday if there's going to be one that you miss. Record it or you can watch it back. Any of the previous Cake Academies are there on the website to be viewed. That's www.createandcraft.tv and this one will be there uh, in a short time as well actually to watch back if you've missed any of it. But what we've talked about has been how to make the peonies 
and how to make the daffodils. And also, we were able to get the demo in about the roses. We weren't sure if we'd have enough time, but we have had, thank goodness. And tomorrow morning, more on the roses as well. Let's remind you then of what we've used. First of all, the first item of the show is basically the most comprehensive. It's got everything you need in there to make the peony, which was our first demonstration with Carol, and to make the daffodils as well. You get all the cutters, all the tools, and you get your forming mat or your foam. Um, it's, it is a forming mat, isn't it? It's a firm foam former. A firm foam former. Yeah. Great. Plus you get the tools and you get, of course, the veining masks there as well. All of that included, uh, and it's £40.49, and pence, I think it is, if you're in the Crate and Craft Club. Now, if you want to go for the individual flowers, uh, then this is the peony, or the daffodil. That's the daffodil. That's the daffodil. That's your daffodil one. So that is £24.29, and pence if that's the only flower you want to make, and you get the tools to do that, and, of course, the veining tool uh, or mat as well. Plus, we also have the peony on its own, but, of course, it makes the best value for money if you go for the bumper bundle. That is £22.99 or £20.69 if you're in the Crank Craft Club. That important item number is 368359. Remember, if you've never ordered from us before and you want to order on the phone, you're happier doing that, fine, absolutely talk to an operator, you can do that, or you can order, of course, online at createcraft.tv free of charge too. Now, if you've already got the tools and you want the cutters, we've got these. Here they are. These are the cutters for your um, peony and the daffodil. That's 368360, $8.99. And then we have the tools on their own as well. All five of these tools, double-ended. They're only uh, $13.49 if you're in the Crate and Craft Club or $14.99 if you're not. And if you want the roses, remember the roses are here. Uh, these templates make three different sizes of rose, and I couldn't see how on earth they would do that, but we've just done it, and it's amazing. So if you like making roses, and who doesn't, this is a, a very popular choice. 364545, go for those right now. Carol, thank you ever so much. Really enjoyed it. Thank you. Great to see and you. congratulations on your first rose. Thank you very much. <laughs> and I'll be with you tomorrow morning at 9 o'clock as well. Okay, so look, look forward, forward to, that. to that. Brilliant. Thanks a lot see for watching then. this week's Cake Academy. Cake Masters magazine is one of the UK's leading cake decorating monthlies. It includes fabulous step-by-step -step cake tutorials, recipes, expert advice, competitions, interviews, design inspirations, and so much more. You can order your 12-month subscription to Cake Masters magazine right here for just £35 and with free UK PNP. To order your 12-month subscription, either visit createandcraft.tv or call 09056 480 480 and quote the item number on your screen.